um, this is just a small offering of some sort of ideas and thoughts um, that I had inspired by Lawrence's music um, and this idea of uh, permission um, sort of kept coming back to me and kept cropping up and um, I was listening to some of Lawrence's early earlier pieces and the idea seemed to resonate or at least uh, it seemed to me as if this music achieved a sense of permission that's somewhat rare um, I thought perhaps it's akin to being so comfortable in one's own skin that the essence of what needs to be um, there is condensed and refined, clarified, so the music sort of settles. Um, so I, I just proposed some thoughts uh, and question, questions and offering um, around this idea in light of the startling clarity of Lawrence's music um, for no purpose other than that something might or did settle uh, or it might be sort of a journey into viewing the world from a slightly different angle. Uh, so, and I'll just briefly say I had a, a wonderful conversation with Lawrence and we spoke a lot about um, intuition in his music and process and this idea that nothing is planned or very, or not nothing's planned, but things not being planned, things coming up and um, and sharing something very private that then goes out into the world and that being a very profound thing. Um, so I'll start here at the beginning with a feeling, a sense of permeation, osmosis, a finger stretching out, testing the air, does it shift? How does it move? A retraction, invitation withheld. Where is this resistance? A line positioned on the right side of a slit hedgeway, cornered off, barriered. You are not allowed in big red letters and just like that, it's over. So permission is consent, it's trust between composer, performer, teacher, student, friend to friend. So think of something you'd like to do and then imagine someone's allowed it. Permission to be kind. Why would you need to be allowed something? Can you not just give it to yourself? permission to take up space, permission to talk, permission to write a triad. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, okay. A requirement of listening, permission to view an object, object from multiple angles. Are we allowed that now? Permission to breathe, when breathing has become so heavy. Permission to sleep early, Permission to stay up late, to focus, to contemplate. Permission to not rush. Permission to hang out with the material, become friends, demand that you focus. What does it mean to give permission in today's world? Is it freedom? What is that? Is it trust? What about space? Permission to let go, to trust an idea. What will we allow ourselves? What will we allow ourselves? What should we allow ourselves? And what should we allow others? How do we perceive things once we give ourselves permission to think for ourselves? Or is that too terrifying these days? What needs to align in order that we might give ourselves permission to just be ourselves and take up space? Um, what about Intuition in the body, a clarity that allows space to exist. This is a feeling that I've mentioned to Lawrence as listening to his music, is it allows this um, space. So, uh, yeah. So one of the first times I heard Lawrence's music, my first thought was, uh, wow. I didn't know you were allowed to do that. <laughs> uh, but there is something daring and bold in the simplicity of the material and the harmony of the chords, which made me think of permission, because you could say it's giving permission to just allow tonal and chordal harmonies to resonate. But then it's not like they're resonating with the frequency of the earth or in just intonation, 
like you might expect that to resonate with the body as if it's come from somewhere bigger. They, these are piano chords. The resonance is pushed into the 12 tone Western tuning system. So perhaps it's a nostalgia for these objects of the past. So anyway, that made me think of permission because it allow, allowed a relaxing in the body, a sigh of relief, or is it the opposite, a holding of the breath? And breath we cannot separate from. So this is an idea. Can I do this? Uh, music is a well, very deep, clear, still water. Occasionally, something is dropped. It falls to the bottom, hits, and immediately penetrates the water. It reverberates, echoes. A chaos is triggered, allowed to play out briefly, and is still again. Can I do this? Repeat, gone, disappeared, and again, and again. Another, something different but familiar, the setting, a glass lake, water so soft and motionless, an expanse of sorts. You can put your finger just an inch below the surface and feel it is like velvet and the boundary between skin and water is blurred as the two absorb one another back and forth for a moment. A faint reflection of the sky beneath you can see pebbles. A, light, a leaf falls from a branch, settles on the lid of the water and stays there for a moment. Slightly crumpled, but intact and alive. Can I do this? And again, and again. And how did I arrive here? So, there was something about this music as a well idea linked to clarity. How? A thought I heard recently on the 5th of October, 2021, walking along the edge of the park. I was on the grass between the pavement and the grass and some brown turf and there I trod the threshold between the cars and the green and the sun was warm in front of me. And I thought if I were to reach out my hand that perhaps it could access another realm, a parallel place, another threshold of sorts and in that place am I allowed to be myself or is it that something is waiting? What is this resistance? Not quieter, there was something, some feeling granted to me ahead of permission. Was I allowed to reach out? Almost, on the edge of this place between the material and current world, a feeling of a gentle and golden space entered my mind, entirely peacefully and entirely easily, as if it would not be a problem to go there. So again, a ripple in a still pond, the turtle plops off the log and into the cold and deep water, and at the same time, a hand breaks the membrane of the air, pushes briefly into what's beyond it, tasting something new and familiar. Permission to be kind, permission to take up space, permission to write a triad, permission to view an object from multiple angles, to breathe, permission to follow your own path, permission to sleep early, to stay up late, to focus, to contemplate to not rush. What will we allow ourselves? What will we allow others? And just, just to end and very soon, um, this music as a well sort of uh, just came as, as, as listening to Lawrence's music and feeling like beginning, it's hidden behind a veil that then reveals listening intently and with the impression that at any moment it can be withheld from you by whom? The giver, the performer, is it a gift? Is it a blessing? And you're only able to hear it because the authors have allowed you into their space. Um, so, and about time, uh, that's an expanding and contracting thing which bends to the performer, the protagonist. It waits for no one. It carries us graciously, folding and developing alongside us like the older brother, one step ahead yet with you all the while. And we talked about intuition and I get a sensation of feeling, feeling the way through something, as though we might stumble through life 
one day unfolding and creasing into the next, trying to find clarity. Can I do this? <laughs>